guys welcome you all to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel takes a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew our kimono jacket right so looking at my measurements you will discover that i wrote shoulder to be 22 inches which is a whole lot but this is what a kimono jacket looks like note that you can make your length longer so mine stops somewhere around my elbow you can make yours to be longer you can make yours to be shorter it all depends on how you want to rock it so the first thing first is to determine where you want your sleeve to get up to that will determine the inches you are going to use for your shoulder now there are two ways to calculate your measurement the first one is to add your sleeve length to your shoulder measurements that will give you the length of your shoulder measurement right so let's say my shoulder measurement is 14 divided by 2 i have 7 and my sleeve length is 12 inches so i basically add my sleeve length of 12 inches plus my shoulder so that will give me the total measurement for my shoulder measurements now the second way in which you can achieve that is to take your measurements from your shoulder now to your desired length so once you place your tape measure this way from your you know neck bone to your desired length that depends on the length of your kimono sleeve so mine now is 22 inches you can increase yours or you can reduce it don't forget to join us on facebook to the designs on instagram tg designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below so let's go ahead now and calculate our measurement so our shoulder measurement is 22 inches i've explained how i came across 22 inches for my shoulder i'm going to add two inches to it i have 24 inches so basically i'm adding two inches because we are going to fold it right you're going to fold your sleeve so i have 24 inches my bust is 36 36 divided by 4 plus 2 i have 11 inches my waist is 28 20 28 divided by 4 plus 2 I have 9 inches our hip is 40 inches 40 divided by 4 40 divided by 4 plus 2 I have 12 inches now my gown length is 60 60 plus 2 inches for my folding allowance I have 62 inches now now note that the length of your kimono totally depends on how long you want it to be so for me this is a very long kimono that is sweeping the ground but you can make yours to be you know somewhere around your knee area below your knee it all depends on you and note that that is what you are going to use for your length now this kimono also the first thing you are going to do after calculating your measurements you will discover that for me my biggest measurement or the largest measurement is my hip which is 12 inches right and i think for most women the Hip measurement is basically like the biggest measurement on the body so what you are going to do now is that you are going to add inches to it because it is not a free dress basically your kimono jacket is not a fitted dress so you are going to add inches to it note that the number of inches you add will determine how big you want it to be and how free you want your kimono to be so you can basically add about eight inches you can add seven you can add ten some people love their kimono to be very very big why some love it to just be a little bit big you know you still want to style your kimono in a sexy way so that depends on you so for me now i'm going to be adding about eight inches so once i have add eight inches i have 20 inches but like i said you know you can reduce it to six five four three it just depends on what what you want but note that it is not a fitted form of dress right so basically these are the basic measurements so we are going to be using our hip measurements which you have about 20 inches across the body size because you are not having your bust shape we are not having that bust waist shape waist to hip kind of shape on a kimono it's usually very straight and basically you use your largest measurement to get the measurements you need for you to have like your straight measurement so you are going to understand that in the course of the tutorial if you have any question please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on if you want us to make a video on how to make 
make your rope please put that down in the comment section and i am going to make a detailed tutorial on how to achieve your rope now don't forget to join us on facebook and click on that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel so now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial so basically I am making use of African print to achieve this. You can use any fabric of your choice. You can use your crepe, your lacra, your cutting fabric. One thing I love about this kimono is the fact that you know every lady, everyone can wear this. It is free in form of a jacket. You can style it and rock it any way you want to rock it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. So guys, the first thing we are going to do now to achieve our kimono is to fold our fabric into four, right? So I've gone ahead to fold my fabric into four and things you should note about this kimono is the fact that one you can make your length longer or you can make your length shorter it depends on how you want to style this and also note that kimonos are not fitted gown okay they are not fitted so they're usually very free on the body so now you know i folded my fabric into four as you can see so for my shoulder now for my shoulder now i have 23 inches now there are two ways in which you can measure your measure your shoulder the first one is to you know take your measurements from your shoulder to so guys now we want to achieve our kimono dress now the first thing i'm going to do now is to fold my fabric into four as you can see note that you can make your length shorter or longer it depends on how you want to achieve it and also note that your kimono is not a fitted dress so it's usually big and to be honest with you guys the bigger it is the more beautiful your kimono dress looks like so now i have about 24 inches which is basically my shoulder measurements plus my sleeve measurement so if my shoulder is 14 divided by 2 we have 7 plus my length it all depends on where you want your kimono to get up to so if you want it to get up to this point or this point you just have to like take your measurements from your shoulder to your desired length so i have 24 inches for that now let's go ahead now and mark our measurements basically so our shoulder to our arm o like i said this kimono dress is very free i'm going to make use of 13 inches normally you know not like basically my shoulder should my arm o shouldn't be more than nine and a half or nine inches but because this is a very free form of kimono you are going to make it very free some people want their sleeve to be very bogus so the more bogus you want your sleeve to be that will determine the measurements you are going to take for your arm o so if you want it to be very big you can you know make it of 15 inches you can make it of 14 13 it all depends on how big you want it to be so i have 15 inches now now on your basic measurements now on your basic measurement don't forget that you folded your fabric making use of your shoulder measurement so what you are going to do now is if i'm going to make use of this 15 inches for my sleeve i'm making use of this 15 inches for my sleeve now at this point just come in with about two inches so just come in with about two inches or one and a half inch one and a half inches so you just connect this line all the way you can see that it is very easy to achieve connect it all the way to your gown length so my length is actually very long i want a long kimono like i said you can reduce your length it all depends on you so just connect it now i reduced about two inches from this sleeve so at this point now you don't want this point to be sharp this way so just give it like a round curve right just curve it this way basically so that you don't have a very sharp joining at this part so that is that the next thing we are going to do now is to mark our neckline so for the wideness of my neckline i'm going to make use of three and a half for the wideness of my neckline and for the deepness i'm going to make use of three inches for the deepness so for the front deepness i'll make use of three inches for the front while for the back i'll make use of one inch so this is my back block measurement and this is the front block neckline right so this is the front three inches this is the back one inch so you can see that your kimono is very easy so on this part now 
I'll go ahead with my shoulder slope because I don't want this part to be, you know, just straight. I've marked one inch for my shoulder slope and then I'll just slope it this way so that you can still have your shoulder slope effect at this part. So basically, as you can see, this is so easy to achieve. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go ahead now and cut this part. Once I cut off this part, I'll cut off the neckline and my shoulder slope. Then I'll show you guys what next. So guys, after cutting it, this is what we have. So you can see the neckline for the back block, which is one inch. And then you can see the neckline for the front block. So on this side now where you have your sleeve, you can see what it looks like. So the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and open up your front piece. Because for your front piece now, you are going to have two pieces for your front piece, right? You are going to have two pieces for your front piece. So I'll just go ahead now and open this up. So once I'm done opening this up, for my front piece now I have two pieces and for the back piece I have a single piece. So let me just go ahead now and open this up so that you guys can have, you know, a clue on what it looks like. So you can see basically how our sleeve is. Now we are going to go ahead now and set this aside. So the next thing we want to cut out now is what I call facing. So basically we need, don't forget that we open up this front piece. So for this front piece now we have two pieces, right? So now we, what we are cutting out now is our facing and basically we are going to use that facing to turn this opening, okay? This opening all the way. So we want to cut out the facing now, right? The wideness of your facing totally depends on how wide you want it to be basically. So you can make it of let's say 6 inches, 5 inches, 4, it all depends on how wide you want it to be. So for me now I have 6 inches because we are going to fold it into 2 this way. So by the time I fold it into 2, I have 3 inches. By the time I stitch about half an inch to the mid dress, I'm going to have 2 inches or 2 and a half inches left. Now for the length of this facing, you are going to take it round your flap line all the way so it's necessary that you have you know enough fabric long fabric right but the length of the fabric now the length of the fabric you are basically going to take the measurements after joining the shoulder so once i'm done joining the shoulders i'm going to show you guys how to take the measurements round you know round the facing and the neckline for both the front block and the back block and another thing i also want to make note of is that for an example if you are making use of a if you are sewing a long kimono right let's say for the kimono i have which is about 60 inches so imagine it's going round both the front and the back block it means i'm going to have more than 120 inches right or let's say about 130 to 140 inches now your african fabric might not be up to that so you can also have two pieces for your facing that's what i'm just trying to explain here you can also have two pieces for your facing all you are going to do now is just to go ahead and couple this up so that it can give you like one single piece which will go round your facing you know line so don't worry if you can't get like the long length you can have two pieces just joining together so that it can give you a single piece to go around so for the length once i'm done i'll show you guys you know how to get the length of this facing so guys now the first thing we are going to do is to go ahead and join our shoulders together as you can see i've gone ahead now to couple the shoulder together so in order for us to know the length of our facing you are basically going to measure you know you are going to place your tape measure this way this will enable you to know the length of so you are basically just taking like this measurements you keep on taking your measurements all the way you measure your neckline also you make sure you measure your neckline because your facing is going to go round you know you keep on taking it round so now once you are done you know taking all your measurements round your neckline your facing that will determine the length of your facing of my facing for the wideness I have 
for the widest of the facing now i have about six inches like i said you can reduce it you can increase it it all depends on how you know you want it to be so now we want to couple this up we want to basically couple this up now this is what we are going to do so you are basically going to sew your facing you are sewing your facing to so your neckline right so this part don't forget that you're starting from your gown length i don't know if you guys are getting me but you're basically placing your facing on your gown length you're placing it from down which is where your gown length you know ends you are taking your you are sewing it this way you are sewing it this way so you just keep on sewing it and like I said, it's fine if your facing has like joining, okay? It's, it's okay. Especially when, you're, when your kimono is a long form of kimono, so it can have joining. So you keep on sewing it. So by the time you stitch it now, and then you top stitch it this way, this is basically what we want to achieve at the end of the day. This is what you are going to have. You can see by the time you flip it, this is what it's going to look like. But the wideness of this thing determines, you know, how big your facing is. So this is what it's going to look like. Now, when you get to the neckline area, you know, this is our neckline. This is the neckline. When you get to the neckline area, you are still going to, you know, stitch it the same way all the way. You keep on stitching it, you know, on the neckline. So for the neckline also, you are still going to have this. You are still going to have this. So it's basically going to be like this. It's basically going to be like this. So you stitch it. So once I'm done stitching this all the way round, I will show you guys what it looks like so guys now once you are done you know fixing in your flap all the way your facing all the way you can see what it looks like so you just go ahead now and top stitch this and this is what it looks like and you can see the neck also the neckline how it lays you know properly because our neckline is a v-shaped neckline so now this is what we have right but i'm gonna say that you know this is what we have and it's very easy so this is what it looks like this is our neckline everything is sitting properly now if you want your sleeve area to be more defined like you really want your sleeve area to be more defined you know when we're cutting we came in with two inches so you can come in you know if you want the sleeve to be more defined you know we came in with two inches earlier you can you know come in as much as you want i hope you guys can see it okay you can just come in as much as you want at this part so the more you come in the more your sleeve is going to be defined and the more fitted your kimono dress is going to look like so it all depends on how you basically want to style it you can decide that you want to come in you know so that your sleeve can be more defined and so that your kimono is not really big so instead of two inches you can just go in so what you are basically going to do now is to go ahead now and stitch this all the way right down but not at the front so you are stitching it at the back right i'm just using this front to you know show you guys how to stitch it so now i will just go ahead now and couple this up on this side stitch it all the way down and on this other side also we'll also stitch this all the way down once i'm done i'll show you guys what it looks like so guys now we've gone ahead now to you know stitch this together so you can see the curve right you can see that you know i went in more than two inches basically so that i can have like more definition to the sleeve i can add more definition to the sleeve now go ahead and stitch this all the way down once you are done the next thing you are going to do is to go ahead and fold the lower part of your dress and this is basically what your kimono dress looks like let me show you guys this is basically what your kimono dress looks like so if you want me to make a video on how to cut and sew your rope go ahead and put that down in the comment section and i am going to make a video on that i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one bye